So where has HDMI been now? It's a whole bunch of numbers. You can see clock speeds in megahertz, there's data rates in gigabits per second, there's per channel, there's three channels, there's... It all gets very confusing. So we're... Um, there's this silicon, the actual chipsets that are in the devices that have limitations on what HDMI is capable of. The cables have limitations. There's so many different numbers that it can be a little bit overwhelming for you guys to actually know how to design a system that's going to make sure it's, it just works. This first bandwidth slide here is talking about the actual speeds that are being used within HDMI systems. Never mind all the claims of cable bandwidth or what devices are capable of, this is what's actually going through the system. There are three main clock speeds used within HDMI. They are 74.25, 148.5 and 297. I don't expect those numbers to really gel with anybody or get anybody too excited, but don't, just bear with me and you'll see what, what I'm talking about. 74.25 equates to the 2.22 gigabit per second that you're probably used to seeing applied to standard HDMI cables. Anything from 480i, 576i, or the progressive versions of those, 720p, 1080i, that includes the side-by-side -side 3D formats, and even 1080p24 in 2D, all fit in that one bandwidth. So 1080p24 is kind of the golden standard of Blu-ray right now. But the fact is, it's actually the same bandwidth as 480i. So it's actually quite easy to get that working. The one that we've been using now as our benchmark, as the only expectation of HDMI to date, is the next step up, which is 148.5 megahertz, 4.45 gigabits per second. That's 1080p60. So that's, that's really been the, the golden nugget to date. That's what everybody expects of HDMI. So our experience, as um, my experience as a, as a cable manufacturer, is that there's not a whole lot of emphasis on compliance or on the labelling of, of products, etc. All you really want is for the thing to work. But all we've wanted of HDMI to date is for it to work to 1080p60 because there hasn't really been anything else. There's nothing more. So when it comes to what else is capable, high-speed labels, what does it all mean, don't know yet. To date, we've actually never used high-speed HDMI to even half its capacity. So we're about to start using it for the first time ever because 297 megahertz, which is just actually, I've rounded it there, it's actually 8.91 gigabits per second. That's a game changer. That will change our industry. It has implications on every step of the installation that you do because it's double, exactly double 1080p60.